today I'm going to do the update uh, with using disc. I've been using this disc ground planner for two weeks now and there are some likes and dislikes. Um, some things that aren't too new to me um, only because I had the opportunity to use a Happy Planner Classic like I mentioned in my previous video. So some of those same issues that I had with that have also resurfaced in here. Um, but uh, this is a different system than the Happy Planner that I used. And so now I'm able to form my own opinion in terms of like my own setup that I actually handpicked and set up for myself versus um, the Happy Planner, which was gifted to me. So I didn't choose that layout. Um, at all. So a um, couple of things that I added to the uh, system. If the camera shakes, I do apologize. I have a very janked um, setup as we just moved and we don't have any of our home goods and I don't have a desk right now. So that's that. But nonetheless, um, hopefully we don't shake too much. Um, I added a couple of things to the system just to kind of help me out a little bit. So the cover, um, I'm gonna go over the exterior um, issues and things like that first. So exterior wise, I'm using the Jane's Agenda cover and her cover has a pen loop that is attached to the back cover of the book. I wasn't a huge fan of this. Um, I felt like whenever my pen was in that closure, um, because I have like a cover on cover situation, because the um, plum paper comes with the plastic covers, um, and then also because I have a little bit of a chunkier planner, I felt like my pen loop was getting um, in the way and it didn't really sit flat when my pen was in there and over time I felt like it might get damaged um, so instead I went on Amazon and I found a adjustable pen loop that could just slide over the front cover of the book and this has worked so much better for me versus using the pen loop in the Jane's agenda if I'm going inward, I do have quite a bit of stuff that I've added that I mentioned that I would add in a previous video. Um, so I'm just gonna talk about the exterior, meaning the covers first, and then we'll go into like the inserts and decor and things like that. So these plastic covers that come with the Plum Paper Planner are okay. I'm not gonna say they're great, they're just okay. Um, they do, however, seem to damage pretty easily and I only mention that because the oops we cannot um bump the camera too much I only mention that because the back cover um because it's rubbing up against this Jane's agenda cover it seems to have developed some marks or scuffings and it just damaged really really easily so um, luckily, it's just only there to protect the actual contents of the planner and nothing more or less. So that didn't really bother me, but that might bother some other people. Um, so just to keep that in mind. So interior. Um, I did go to Amazon yet again and I purchased three kinds of clear folders. I purchased the card folders, the zip pouch, and a top loading pocket, um, all from Disc Agenda. And I also purchased some affirmation cards with intriguing questions on the back. Um, I did that for one, I just wanted a little bit of decorative elements to add to the front cover because just looking at this by itself was pretty plain. Um, and then also, um, I didn't want to go to like the typical run to places that most people go to for journaling cards. Um, I can use these over and over again and there are a bunch of them. They come in like a variety of neutral colors and I can just switch them out monthly, weekly, whatever I choose fit. So I um, added those to the front and then before I get into the actual inserts itself, um, added a top loading um, 
pocket. This is my idea was behind um, throwing like important papers from the month. Is this the way? Okay, yeah. The uh, idea is to throw important papers in here. I still do have the pocket folders um, that I originally set up the planner with that came with the plum paper. I'm just gonna use it for miscellaneous stuff. Um, and then this card pocket, uh, I've just stuck some sticky notes and random papers in there. And then I have the zipper pouch. I only have one of the zipper pouches in here because I'm not really fond of the zipper pouch. I didn't like that it came like all bent like right here. So I'm not really too fond of it, but I just have some basic necessities in there, a ruler in case I wanna break up. Um, a section or draw out something or what have you but that's in there and page flags are typical so just a couple of things I do have two of the top loading folders in here I've added the one in the front to add uh, papers and things like that um, just other important little papers and then I have one within the meal section or I'm sorry I think I have one in the finance section um, I thought I had one in the finance section. There's another one in here somewhere. Um, let me see. Maybe it's in, oh, here we go. It's in the meal section. So my idea behind this, um, is to throw in like grocery bills, things like that. So that, um, because I want to save all the receipts. I used to do that a while back, but I just want to save all the receipts and things like that. So that way when I do the grocery budget, I can kind of see how much I'm spending on food. So if I go back to the front of the planner, and again, if I'm shaking the camera, it's because the setup that I have is not the greatest. So hopefully you guys can bear with me for the time being. So let's go into... Um, cons of the discount system so i know my planner is super stuffed if we're looking at it um side view you can you can tell that it's stuffed um i know my planner is stuffed and with that you know you might have some pages come out i've had a couple of comments a few of you have mentioned that um one of the problems that you face with discount system is that your pages tend to come out i'm going to say that yes my pages in the front specifically the ones that i'm using and referencing more and by more i mean like the daily pages have definitely started to come out from where i am turning so um i usually turn from the bottom here I don't know if I'm in frame or not. Okay, so I usually turn from the bottom, like right here, and that means my page usually goes up where the hole is. And um, whenever I need to do something, because I'm right-handed, I'm not left-handed, so when I need to do something on this side, nine times out of 10, I'm doing this. I'm pulling it out and then flipping it over or what have you in order to write on it. So those pages, typically my daily pages, like I mentioned, are the ones that are getting pulled the most. Um, so like I mentioned, I have had some experiences with my pages kind of getting uh, damaged by the whole entrance, um, like the bottom, maybe up here or somewhere in between. The solution to that, um, and it is one that I had with rings as well, especially if I had chunkier rings or if I had a stuffed chunky ring bound planner. I've had this same issue before. I think the only pro to having a ring bound system is that there are no slits unless you personally put them there yourself. Um, but nonetheless, there are going to be some pros and cons. Um, for me, I feel like the pages falling out um, is an easy fix. Um, maybe not a suitable fix for everyone, but it is an easy fix. You can definitely take some clear tape and definitely just go along the edges, maybe not covering the holes, and then just cut um, the, the opening back open. Or you can take the easier route, in which is what I did, and you can buy some clear hole reinforcers and you can 
reinforce the holes in which are starting to deteriorate. So I chose to go that route because it was a lot cheaper and it was easier for me versus taping a whole thing. I don't have a disc punch at the moment. So to repunch this is not ideal for me. So I took the easiest route out. And I would only recommend reinforcing holes in the disc bound system for the pages that you intend to shift around or move um, more often than others because I don't rarely pull my weekly inserts and so those holes don't look affected opposed to my daily pages. Another um, fix that I've also um, realized um, that would help this system. So this is like one of the dislikes or one of the disadvantages that I'm noticing since using this system. The Plum Paper Planners paper isn't all that thick. Um, I think that if it feels like 120 GSM and it may be, I cannot remember what the actual uh, paper is, but um, I feel like with a lot thicker of a paper, um, you can definitely reinforce or your holes can definitely be reinforced um, opposed to using, you know, like 120 pound paper, um, you know, like what's being offered with the plum paper um, planners. So definitely a heavier paper is going to probably help. And that's just something that I think is um, going to help with the disc bound system because I noticed that the dividers are a little bit thicker and they tend to hold up opposed to the actual paper that is in the planner. So those is those are the pros and the cons to that. So um didn't really care for the way that I set up this weekly or not weekly, this monthly. I did use it. There's not a whole lot of stuff going on for August so it looks a little discombobulated and thus far we are still in the middle of August so there's things that can still pop up. Um, I do like the layout of the plum planner. Like I like being able to do the top three. I do a to-do list here. I typically write out a new schedule for the day and I've been switching these boxes between priority, notes, reminders, things like that. And then using this little blank um, shaded box for meals. Um, there are a couple of things that I didn't initially think of when using um, these inserts that I could do with the shaded boxes. I can definitely do like a small tracker here. I don't always have to do the meals of the day, but it's just something that I've become used to doing over the last couple of weeks. And so that is what it has turned into. Um, I've definitely noticed that I've used more stickers that I'm used to using in like my bullet journals and stuff like that. Um, so I think that stickers definitely bring out the page more because when you don't have anything on it, it just looks kind of all put together. I think you need to have something to kind of break it up, whether you're just using a highlighter or a different color pen for your sections. But for me, it really doesn't matter. I pretty much just do whatever makes me happy. Um, but I do like the sections. Um, I do feel like some parts of me wishes that the schedule section had lines in between. I know that it's all blank and I can definitely just, you know, fix that myself by just skipping a line. But I do wish that they gave you more space for a basic schedule versus, you know, like this small little section. I, I believe you can just use this side and make this the schedule and then just use this for whatever, like maybe your to-do list or something like that. So I can definitely switch those up. And I think that was the beauty in terms of not labeling the different sections. So moving forward, if I were to use this planner again, specifically the daily inserts, I would definitely not header any of the sections. That way I can switch around what 
I need to be switched. Um, because ultimately it is how you use it um, that is gonna make the difference. So that's that. But this section I definitely realized was intended for a schedule because of how the layouts are. But again, like I said, it's an easy fix because nothing was uh, labeled. So um, definitely enjoyed using it. I've been using the bottom section, which I didn't quite know what to do it as gratitude. But moving forward, I think I'm just going to use that note page that they give you in the front of the planner. I think I'm gonna use one for gratitude of the month and then the back page that they give you with notes. I could do quite a few things with this. I can either do a monthly reflection or I could actually do a monthly to-do list. So like a master task list. And then I can take from that and schedule out where I need things to go. So there are a couple of things that I can do with those extra note pages that they add in the front and in the back. So not outweighing or not, um, you know, throwing it out there that, um, <clears throat> It's, it's not an option. It's definitely an option um, in terms of like what you can do or what what is more uh, similar to what I've done in the past. There's definitely some similarities in the system that I've done in previous systems, like all my bullet journals, all my personal ring planners, and even my A5 bullet journals um, and ring planners. So definitely, definitely um, feeling a lot more comfortable uh, especially with the fact that I can change the pages around. So that's that. Um, so yeah, again, stickers and sticky notes are going to make a big difference. Um, I kind of wish, so this is one of the things I have noticed with the Plum Paper Planner. I did go back on the site just to double check to see if they had a day on two pages and they don't offer it. Um, and I kind of wish that they did. If they do, someone please link or put somewhere where I can find it on their website, but they don't do two days on a, or a day on two pages, which I wish they did because then, you know, like I'd have more space for the kind of things that I want to get done. Now, because this kind of goes like back to back, I could easily just add a sheet of paper in between the daily pages to definitely give myself that day on two page spread. Um, but I like being able to see the previous day sometimes. So that way when I'm kind of trying to figure out what it is that I got done on the list and what I didn't get done, I can just transfer it over. Because writing things over doesn't really bother me as much as it may bother someone else. So um, I think I might order just some like grid paper just to kind of go in between um, some of the days. I'll only do a month at a time. That way I can kind of keep, um, or a week at a time, I'm sorry. I'll only do a week at a time. That way I can kind of keep it um, at the same chunk that it is and not, you know, go crazy and make this extremely um, to the point where it's not closing. Because right now I have two inch discs and it's already at its max. So um, I, I definitely think that there is room with the disc system to overstuff because there's, you know, like the rings, they kind of pop open when they're too stuffed um, opposed to this. So that's that. Um, and this was Wednesday. Wednesday, I also ordered some stickers from this sticker book that I really want to share with you guys at some point in time. I really like the stickers in there. They're like a Victorian style of a sticker. But anyway, definitely loving the um, daily pages and finding a great use for it. Like I mentioned, I just wish that there was a day on two pages. Now, I did look into Agendio and Agendio had a lot of options for me in terms of creating that day on two page. But they don't come punched. And like I mentioned, I don't own a punch system right now. So um, if I went with Agendio in the future, I would definitely have to get a punch and a good punch because I've 
watched a lot of videos and read a lot of reviews that the punch definitely makes a difference. Now with the Plum Paper Planner System, this came punched for me already, disassembled and ready for me to assemble it by myself. And all I can tell you is that the punch definitely makes a difference. I'm not sure what kind of punch they used in particular, but um, I don't feel like the pages were punched that great. There are some pages that look like the punch maybe got caught or something like that but um, ultimately if I go for it with plum paper I would just get them unpunched and punch them myself and obviously by then I would have invested in a decent punch so if I move over into the weekly pages um, I have not utilized this back page and I didn't talk too much about it in the daily section but basically all I did was I put in three goals that I wanted to work on this month and I did like some things to remember in terms of like right now I need to renew my military spouse ID and a couple of reminders and things like that but nothing too crazy in that section. I did get a little bit of inspiration as to what to do with this section of the planner like the dividers and stuff and i'll share that in coming videos and for this i didn't do anything with the note pages like i didn't do anything with them in the daily spreads but however the monthly i did go ahead and i started adding my workout schedules um because they are posted every week so every week i just get the new schedule and then i just write the schedule um, in there in the calendar um, they are posted every Sunday so when Sunday's schedule comes around I would just put it here because it's all online and I like to see it physically versus having to go to an app or some sort to um, view it so the weekly pages I have got the vertical weekly and it is the vertical priorities and so the top of the weekly sections have like these um, bullet points where you can break it down into two kind of categories and in this bottom one you can break down into a different category but those don't have the bullet points so i kind of tried out a couple of different spreads i did top three for this week and kind of found it a little bit um, repetitive because i was doing top three for the daily pages um, I do like to see the top three, but I don't need to see the top three here if I view the daily pages a lot more. So the daily pages, like I mentioned, I do a top three, three things I wanna focus on for those particular days. And to have it here, um, I really just want the weekly to be a snapshot of everything of the week, but I don't need the top three here. So moving forward, I will no longer do that. Um, this is a blank box. Um, see this is what the box looks like without the sticker there so this is a blank box and I absolutely did not know what to do with that box at all I thought maybe a quote I thought maybe something else but then I watched another YouTube video and she actually used it as a tracker and so I thought that was a good idea um, you can use you know whatever you can even make it a tracker by itself without a sticker but I had a water sticker for the week um, so I chose to do like a weekly water sticker and then I labeled this habit trackers but I wish I didn't label that at all because then I can change this to be a mood tracker habit tracker anything kind of a tracker um, which would definitely help but a little bit of white out or a sticker of some sort um, or if you're just lazy like me and you want to just write over it because it's not it's not gonna kill you to write over it you could do that um and just make it or use it however you want so that's what i did for this following week um this part of the weekly is important this week and i kept that that way because i need to see what are like my top things to do for the week so again i kept this the importance of the week but i covered that box because that box is not really attractive and yeah I, if, if there is something that I really wanted to highlight, I definitely made it pop a little bit more. So this week, this week that we're currently in, I chose to keep the water tracker. And then I kind of wrote over this and I wish I would have wrote over it with black because the pink is definitely looking a little different. <laughs> uh, 
but I made it a mood tracker because I realized that when I was tracking last week's stuff, um, I have not been taking my vitamins. Something was making me ill in my vitamin system, so I haven't been taking it um, lately, and so I need to kind of revamp that. So to track it was, you know, not purposeful. And then like laundry, I don't need to track that. I track it in my daily spreads when I'm doing like my daily to-dos, trash, pool, bathrooms, all that stuff. All of the stuff that I have here in this tracker, I put it in my daily spreads. So I really don't need to look at it again in my weekly spreads. So I chose to not do that. And I chose to make this a mood tracker. Now I start my vitamins up again, my supplements, um, and medications once i get all of that stuff cleared away once again then i will go back to tracking that and documenting how they make me feel um but other than that right now i don't need to track that kinds of stuff because it is being worked on um other than that these sections like i mentioned the bullet points i decided to change them so the top um, box with the three bullet points I've chose to label it house task so three house tasks um, like I mentioned I wanted my weekly spreads to be a snapshot of everything that is going on and I no longer needed to do the top three because I do top three in my daily spreads the bottom boxes are just random um, it might be social media it might be um, I don't know it could be anything I'm just gonna say social media so house task and social media but this bottom box which is the larger box of the weekly so Monday through Friday I've labeled it today so it's all the things that are happening in that day and then Saturday and Sundays are just open um, they don't have bullet points or anything because usually Saturday and Sunday I don't have anything going on I do clean houses on Sunday or Saturday but I do a lot of house were during the middle of the week so that I can chill on Saturday and Sunday and right now we are in a down time um, phase because we just moved and we don't have a lot going on at all anyway so roughly speaking that is where I've gotten in my planner I haven't used the meal section yet I'm really eager to use it it's just that you know like like I mentioned we just moved and uh, we moved to a different, we moved back to the States. We just came back from Germany. And right now I'm just working on, you know, like things that I want to do in terms of like how I want to run our house because we're all looking for new routines and things like that. And right now it's just like up in the air. So um, really not much to plan for in terms of meals, but it's there um, when I do. And I haven't filled out the um, finance sheet yet, but there are some things that I am um, trying to remember. My husband still needs to sit down with me and we need to go over like all the things that we currently pay or are paying right now. But that is that in terms of the disc bound system. So all in all, my opinions on it. I do love the disc. Um, I still love it just as much as I did when I used the Happy Planner. Um, I do feel like this is not as portable only because, you know, it's A5. A5, in my opinion, was never portable, but it's A5 and this is a chunky A5 and the disc does add, this is a little bit different than your bullet journal. Um, so it, the disc does add a little bit of weight to the system um so i am considering bringing back out my um b6 ish i say ish because this is not true b6 but i do want to bring back out my bullet journal i have i have not done anything i haven't been in it for two weeks since july ended so nothing has been updated but i am missing this a lot like a lot um, I love the disbound system. I love being able to just go in and freely plan without having to think about, oh, I need to set up the week. Oh, I need to set up the month. So I do like that, the ease of that, but I definitely miss my bullet journal for sure. Um, 
And surprisingly, I've still been using this little um, weekly passport booklet. I've still, this is the second one for the second half of the year. Unfortunately, I cannot find this book. I bought this book from the German Amazon when we were in Germany. And I tried looking for this book on the US Amazon and you cannot find this anywhere. I don't even think the seller sells it anymore on the German Amazon, but it's so unfortunate because I love this insert a lot. But like I mentioned, I've been using this surprisingly to kind of pre-plan out the week. Um, it kind of feels a little redundant because I'm using the disc to do that. But again, like I mentioned, I'm just, I, I'm just using all the things, all the things that make me happy. Now, one last thing that I do want to share before I end this video is I did go on Amazon again because um, as much as, a lot, as I love the Chains Agenda cover, I really just wanted to try this Moterm cover because... I don't know. I saw like all the mode terms that are coming out and I saw that they had one for disc, junior disc. And so I decided to go with this burnt orange and opened it up and tried to put my planner in it. And I think this will be helpful for anyone who may be considering this, but I tried to put my planner in it and it did not fit like Mind you, I have the Jane's Agenda cover on, so it's not going to show up too well in terms of like how it fits. And I really don't want to take the Jane's Agenda cover off because it was not easy to snap back on. But the planner itself fit, but it kind of fit like this. So there were things hanging out of it. And that's because these two inch discs just do not allow for a, um, easy fit. Um, I think that if I wanted to use this, I would definitely have to go down to maybe an inch and a half in my disc. And for me, I just did not want to do that. It definitely feels nice and I love the color and it feels nice and soft and there's no imperfections on it. Definitely love the Moterm cover a lot. This is for the junior disc. So here's what I'm going to do. I want to think about it for a while, um, not a long time, but just a little while. I paid a decent amount of money for it. Um, I am thinking if I don't end up returning this back, um, I think that I'm going to go ahead and sell it. Um, so, I mean, there's, I'm just looking at it for the first time really because I haven't looked at it. All the stitching looks really good. There looks like some little mark right there, but I think you can wipe that off. Um, there doesn't look like any imperfections like I mentioned. All the pockets look really good. There doesn't look like it has any scratches or anything. This has like all the card slots here with a zipper pouch and then more card slots here. And then you have your secretarial pocket and then the two pockets here and then two pockets here. And then you have like the little deco pockets, pen loops facing outward this time. And I can appreciate that because I don't like when the pen loop is facing inward. And then again, you have the big back pocket in the back. So again, like I mentioned, I just got this today and it didn't suit my needs for the current system that I'm in because my discs are a little bit too big for this and I'm not willing to go down in size just to fit this. So I'm going to sit on it for a minute, but I think that if I come to the conclusion of selling it, um, I want to know how many of you would be interested in buying it because I'm not going to put up the effort if nobody shows an interest in it. So um, let me know, but I'll definitely keep you guys posted in terms of like what's going on with it and all of that stuff. But that's all that I really have for you guys. I hope that it was a decent update. Again, I'll try to update you guys as much as possible. Um, I'll try to share my opinions and all of that stuff as time goes on. 
but as I've mentioned in previous videos, I thank you. I thank all of my new subscribers who have joined and returning subscribers who come back. And if you like the video, I just ask that you show me a little bit of appreciation by hitting the like button. That way I can tell which videos you guys are interested in. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.